The following you're about to watch is a work of fiction and should not be taken seriously. Do not cause mass panic with this because it might result in you getting fined. I am not responsible if this happens to you. Anyways, enjoy. You are listening to the NOAA Weather Radio serving the New York City metropolitan area. The weather for today will be raining for the whole day and possible thunderstorms. Tomorrow, thunderstorms are most likely and they will most likely be severe. On the 24th, rain will downpour even more. Severe thunderstorm watch. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm is most likely going to take place today. The thunderstorm is most likely going to hover over Manhattan and some parts of Brooklyn. Residents are advised to return home and prepare supplies. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Severe thunderstorm warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. Doppler radar has detected a thunderstorm near the New York-Connecticut border moving into New York at 30 miles per hour. This thunderstorm is producing golf-sized hail. Hazard, hail is dangerous to people caught outside. All residents are advised to stay indoors until this thunderstorm clears. This is CBS News for the New York City area. A severe thunderstorm warning is issued due to the fact that golf-sized hail is being produced and that there is heavy rain. Live from New York City Dave. Dave are you there? Yes, I am currently standing in Times Square where it is raining hard. Hail is falling all around me and this thunderstorm looks like it's not going to get any better. Okay, stay safe. Tornado watch in effect for the New York City and the surrounding areas. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. This thunderstorm has gotten powerful enough that a tornado might be possible. You are advised to move into a basement if possible. If no basement, go to your innermost room of your house. It should have no windows. If there are windows, cover them. Wearing a helmet is also recommended. Do not go outside or else you could get hit by hail. Stay tuned to this station for more update on this dangerous situation. Tornado warning. I repeat tornado warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A tornado was spotted just at the border of New York and is moving south at 35 miles per hour. This tornado right now has winds of around 70 miles per hour but can change. Residents living near the border of New York are advised to move into an underground shelter now. If no underground shelter exists, move into the most interior room on the lowest floor of your house. It should have as few doors and windows if possible. Do not leave your shelter until the tornado has passed. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Tornado Warning Update This message is being broadcasted at the request of the National Weather Service. This tornado is increasing fast and is now having winds up to 105 miles per hour. This warning could be upgraded into a PDS tornado warning in the next couple minutes. Residents should remain in their shelters tuned to this station for more updates. PDS tornado warning in effect. This message is being transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. This tornado is still increasing and now has winds up to 120 miles per hour. Multiple houses have been destroyed and vehicles have been reported tossed around. This tornado is expected to reach Manhattan in the next one to two hours. Residents in Manhattan should already be prepared for the tornado to reach their area. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation.
Administrative message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the New York City Police Department. The tornado that reached Manhattan has finally died down and it is safe to exit your shelter. However, the city has suffered massive damage and it could take a while to rebuild. This tornado was an EF4 tornado. We will now return to normal programming. This is NOAA Weather Radio serving the Boston area. The weather for today is showers with a slight chance of a thunderstorm. Tomorrow, it will also be raining and thunderstorms are also possible. Flash flood warning and severe thunderstorm watch. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. Follow these instructions on screen. Flash flood warning, floods have been reported on roads near water. Stay away from flooded areas and do not drive through them. Severe thunderstorm watch. A severe thunderstorm is most likely expected today. Take caution by preparing supplies. Do not go outside. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. This is ABC News for the Boston area. Roads in the area have been flooded due to the amount of rain. A thunderstorm is most likely expected today. You are recommended to stay indoors until it's safe. We will move to commercial break. Flash flood warning, severe thunderstorm warning, tornado watch, and civil emergency message. The alert will depend on where you live. The civil emergency message has been issued for people living near the sea. This is because driving in this area is impossible and should not be attempted. Flash flood warning is issued for areas just more inland but still near the sea. This is because flooding could reach your area soon. Severe thunderstorm warning for areas in central Boston. This is because lightning strikes have been reported here. Tornado watch for western Boston due to a funnel cloud being detected spinning in the sky. Everyone in Boston should seek an underground shelter in case a tornado strikes. If no underground shelter exists go to the innermost room of your house and stay there until it's safe. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Tornado warning for all of Boston. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. A tornado has touched down 10 miles west of Boston and is moving towards the city. This tornado is expected to reach the city within the next 15 minutes. If not done already get into your basement or innermost room of your house. Do not go outside for any reason. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Administrative message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Boston Police Department. The tornado that swept through Boston has died down and it's safe to exit your shelter. However, the city has suffered massive damage and could take a while to be rebuilt. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. Civil Danger Warning The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service and the United States government. Throughout the last couple hours tornadoes have been reported throughout the East Coast. The states reporting tornadoes include Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Around 30 tornadoes have been reported in these states. Everyone in the East Coast is advised to go back into your shelters in case more tornadoes strike. If your shelter is destroyed call 911. 
Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Earthquake warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Osteological Survey. An earthquake with a magnitude of 9.7 on the Richter scale has struck 75 miles off the east coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. A tsunami is most likely expected after, and you are advised to gather supplies in case a tsunami forms. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this dangerous situation. Tsunami warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Osteological Survey. The earthquake that struck 75 miles off of Cape Cod has triggered a super high tsunami that is expected to strike the east coast within the next 45 minutes. You are advised to evacuate immediately. Take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a battery-powered radio, and a first aid kit to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. If you cannot evacuate, climb to higher ground immediately. All highways have increased speed limits so you can escape. Do not wait to evacuate, I repeat, do not wait.